And by Delta Airlines, because geography is important for kids everywhere. Delta Airlines, you'll love the way we fly. All these people want to know. Where in the world is... Carmen San Diego Bombay. And one of these gumshoes could find her. He likes to play basketball and soccer, and he's learning to speak Spanish and Persian. Meet Justin Williams. She enjoys tennis, plays the flute, and would like to travel through Europe. Meet Kate Standish. He's been skiing in Austria and likes to play football, basketball, and baseball. Meet Christian Leckerling. And here's the senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! Hey, very much. Nice to see you. Woo! All right. Thank you very much. Hey. Christian, how you doing, man? Good to see you. How are you? Kate, good to see you. Justin, nice to see you guys. And hey, they're just back from the arena show at the Fresh Kills Landfill. Rockefeller. Yes, they are. And as you know, one of you is going to catch Carmen San Diego today, and the one that does that is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get started right at the top of the show because that's the best way to do it. Chief, who are we after? This is Top Grunge. Top Grunge. A detestable arrestable who swipes stuff for Carmen San Diego. His last known whereabouts? Monte Carlo, Monaco. In the thrilling sport of auto racing, Grand Prix races are supreme. They feature the world's top drivers competing in the sport's most expensive high-tech cars. And for a glamorous Grand Prix challenge, the place to race is Monaco. Each spring since 1929, the world's rich and famous have gathered here to watch drivers race on the twisting city streets of Monte Carlo. The S-curves and hairpin turns of the course push man and machine to the limit, but no one took the checkered flag in Monaco today because Top Grunge took the Grand Prix. That grease monkey motored into Monte Carlo, then ran his scam. By turning signs out of line, he rerouted the race and gave those daring drivers a bum steer. Before you could say the word pit stop, those race cars were stopped for good in the Garage de Grunge. Gumshoes, you've got to heed the cry of Monaco and... Free the Grand Prix. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, trying to find the crook and the loot. Got to put it all together. Going to start you out with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. So let's get started with our very first clue, which Acme comes to you. Radio Net, more hits, with you. more music. Oh, Hit me. Oh. Hey, you got the old Gregor here for Acme Radio. But first, this message for the gumshoes. Top Grunge is squealing his wheels through an African country on the Mediterranean Sea. It's home to some underground dwellers called... That's right, these people have been living in underground communities for over a thousand years. They know ground cover gives them that natural protection from summer sun and winter wind. There's even an underground hotel there, and speaking of under, here's a way down golden ole a troglodyte would love. That's right, I'm available for weddings, but please book early. Okay, gum shoes, name the country if you will, please. Is it Nigeria, Sudan, or Tunisia? Remember the clues that we heard? African country on Mediterranean, underground dwellers called troglodytes. Christian's ready, so is Kate, and so is Justin. Christian, we start with you. What do you say? I chose Tunisia. Tunisia. Kate? I chose Tunisia. Tunisia. Justin? I, cho I also chose Tunisia. Everybody said Tunisia. The answer we're looking for is Tunisia. Nice job, guys. Yeah. So that means Christian goes up to 60, Kate goes up to 60, Justin 60, Agni Crime Bucks. Way to play that one, you guys. For our next clue, we go to Rolanda Watts, field agent for Acme. She's got a talk show, too, Ned. Rolanda. Hey, gumshoes. Top Grunge is laying low in a New York neighborhood that's been home to many famous African-American artists, musicians, and leaders. A writer, James Baldwin, grew up there, and he turned many of his childhood experiences into books like Go Tell It on the Mountain and Another Country, books that described life in this part of Manhattan. Civil rights workers in the 1950s and 60s admired Baldwin, all because he wrote about the same injustices they, too, were fighting against. Now let's fight against Grunge and get that Grand Prix back to Monaco. We'll do it. Thanks a lot, Rolanda. Okay, guys, name the neighborhood where Top Grunge took 
Grand Prix de Monaco. Is it Flushing, Coney Island, or Harlem? Remember the clues that we heard? African-American neighborhood in Manhattan and was home to writer James Baldwin. Come up with an answer as quick as you can, guys. Trying to find top grunge and the loot. Once you're ready, hold it up there nice and high so I can see it. Kristen's ready, so is Kate, so is Justin. Kristen, what do you say? I chose Harlem. Harlem, Kate? I chose Harlem. Same thing, Justin? Harlem. Harlem, that's the way to go, guys, because you're all right. <laughs> and as you know, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for our next clue. A little... Wait a minute, guys. That sound means only one of two things. Either the upstairs uh, radiator is leaking again, or it's time for the plastic diver guy. Go! He lives a life of danger, our underwater ranger, the one and only plastic diver guy. Go, go, go. Yo, PDG, what's up? Greg, I was diving in a large inlet in the Pacific Northwest where I spotted Carastor tessellatus. A kind of saltwater starfish. When attacked, it sends out an oozing cloud of poison mucus that can kill its enemy. Maybe that's why Terrastor Tithalatus is nicknamed the Slime Star. Oh no, Greg, it's the ominous music. Don't tell me a slime star followed me. It's, it's... Uh, the one and only plastic diver guy. <sighs> the plastic diver guy, ladies and gentlemen. And in honor of the plastic diver guy, name the body of water, if you would please, guys. Is it Puget Sound, San Francisco Bay, or Lake Superior? Remember the clues that we heard? Saltwater Inlet, Pacific Northwest, and starfish called the Slime Star. You ready? Oh. You ready? No? Now you are? Okay, Kristen, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Puget Sound. Puget Sound. Uh, Kate. I chose Puget Sound. Puget Sound. Justin. I also chose Puget Sound. Everybody said Puget Sound. Everybody is right again. Nice job, guys. So that means, Kristen, you go up to 80. Kate has 80. Justin, 80 crime bucks. Still a tie game. And now it is time for... The Lightning Round! All of these questions are about Top Grunge's most recent known whereabouts, which is the Pacific Ocean. Give you five crime books every time you answer a question correctly. Hands on the buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. In the eastern Pacific Ocean, a storm with winds over 74 miles per hour is called a hurricane. What is the same storm called in the western Pacific? A typhoon, a whiz... Uh, Christian. A typhoon? Is right. Nice job, Fire, for you. I had a lot of funny things I was going to say, but Kristen got right there to the right answer, so we'll bypass those. Here's the second question. Karana, an Indian girl, and Ron Tu, a wild dog, are characters in a Scott O'Dell book set on a Pacific island. What is the book's title? The Old Man on the Sea, Island of the Blue Dolphins. Justin? The Island of the Blue Dolphins. Is right. Nice job, five for you. Here's the last one, guys. The deepest known spot on Earth is found at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean's Mariana Trench. What's the spot called? Filene's Basement, Challenger Deep, or way, way down there? Kate? Challenger Deep. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. That means at the end of that round, Kristen has 85, Kate has 85, Justin 85 crime bucks. Very tight game, guys. Now we take this game to... Get to come into my office, please, and bring a number two pencil and a clean sheet of paper. I hate this so bad. I cannot tell you how bad I hate this, but I'm going to face it like a man. I hate this man. <clears throat> Hi, Chief. Uh, sit Hi. down at my oh. desk and get ready for a pop quiz. Chief, I didn't study for oh, a pop quiz. Oh, that's man. the beauty of it, Greg. A number your paper from one to four. Listen carefully and keep your eyes on your own paper. Chief, I'm only Question gonna... number one. How many sides are there to an acme triangle? Well, this is going to be a brace. One, two, three. Brace. Question number two. The acme triangle is an isosceles scalene or equilateral triangle. <laughs> Trick question, Chief. You know, it's really more of a kind of a purplish gray. <laughs> All right, Greg. Uh -huh. This yeah. is the oral part of the quiz. Oh, thanks. How does the home viewer contest work? Uh, another easy one, Chief. If you want to win, write down what got stolen and from where every time you watch the show. When you've collected four loots and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here are today's winners. <laughs>
congratulations, congratulations to, to the, the winners. winners. Okay, okay, last question, Greg. And this determines if you pass or fail. I'm ready. Bring it on. <laughs> Tell me the total number of gumshoes that have appeared on our show. Uh, 738. Wrong! 735! Right! Remember the celebrity show two years ago? Let me know when that's graded. I'll be in my office. It's a... Oh! Oh, the celebrity show! Oh, I forgot about that. <sighs> Hi, I'm Greg Lee. Here's a little pop quiz for those of you at home. What is really behind this uh, door here? Is it the chief's office, pinch the word queen's work desk, or Aunt Loretta's craft table? Come on, let's find out. Come on, let's find out. Oh, hey, it's the word queen. <laughs> what do you have to tell us? Grunger, where are you calling from? And what's all that racket? Uh, I'm racing in the Grand Prix, Carmen. So I had a cell phone put in my chopper. Then race over to the capital of Malaysia. The city's a boom town in high-tech electronics. Malaysia ships tons of TVs, VCRs, and computer parts all over the world. Gee, my CD player hasn't worked since I... I... Sneezed on it. Think they could fix it? You don't need it fixed, Grunge. You need it fumigated. Uh, okay, guys, name the city where Top Grunge took the Grand Prix. Is it Manila, Kuala Lumpur, or Jakarta? Remember the clues that we heard? Capital of Malaysia and big high-tech industry. Going for the answer as quick as you can, guys. Uh, Christian's ready, so is Kate. Kate actually showed us a little bit of her answer. Justin's ready, too. We'll be looking forward to that, Kate. Christian, what do you say? I chose Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur, what do you think, Kate? I chose Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> same thing, Justin, what do you think? I chose Kuala Lumpur. Everybody said the same thing again and again, ladies and gentlemen. They are all right. <laughs> nice job, guys. Very nice job. So, Kristen, you go up to 95. Kate has 95. Justin, 95. Acme Crime Box. For our next clue... Oh, I knew that was coming. Oh, to the alley! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hey, guys. Hey, Greg. What's hey, the word on the street? Hey, Greg, the word on the street is shalom. Oh. That's the language of a Middle Eastern country not even 50 years old. Yeah. But it has thousands of years of history. Oh, so shalom means new country. Well, no. Ever since the nation was founded, there's been fighting between the Jews who live there and their Arab neighbors. Ah, so shalom means war. Well, no. Actually, everything changed in 1993. The two sides decided they could work together to stop the violence. Oh, listen, that sounds great. Maybe uh, things will be better for the kids growing up there. But, you know, the question is, what does shalom mean? Let's tell them, everybody! Peace! Hello! All right. Whoa! Pardon me, I gotta... Let's dance, you Thanks a lot, you guys. Hello, hey, everybody! Hey! Hey! Oh. Ah, felt good. Okay, guys, name the country we're talking about. Is it Israel, Turkey, or Iraq? Remember the clues that we heard. Shalom means peace, hello, and goodbye. Hebrew language and 1993 peace plan. This one may be a little tough. See what you can do with it. Trying to find Top Grunge and Grand Prix. Christian's ready. So is Justin. So is Kate. Christian, what do you say? I chose Israel. Israel. What do you think, Kate? I chose Israel. Israel. Justin? I also chose Israel. Again, they are united, and again, they are right. Nice job, you guys. Man. So this time, Christian goes up to 105, as does Kate, as does Justin. Now we receive where the Top Grunge has left Israel. You know what we're going to do next. Pick up the chase. The chase. <laughs> Wild chasers there. Yes, I understand. Takes a little long. <laughs> no. All these with five at me crying bugs, hands on your buzzers, watch the monitor, listen carefully. Here we go. Top Grunge groped his way to the capital of Texas. Name it, Christian. Austin. Yes. Next, he motored the Grand Prix North over the state line. What state, Kate? Oklahoma. Yes. He speeded to the state whose license plate motto, Christian? Louisiana. Yes. He flagged the Grand Prix to the capital city of Christian? Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi River's right. Top Grunge skidded into Arkansas to Chelsea. Uh, Justin? Um, Little Rock. Little Rock is right. That means at the end of the chase round, Christian has 120, Kate 110, Justin 110. Give him a big round of applause, guys. Still a very close game. Now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you must decide how much you want to risk. Take a look right over here, if you will, please, because here's the portion of the world where we think Top Grunge is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. <laughs> All right, everybody's ready for the final clue of this round. We go to those fabulous felines, bite and scratch, fellas. We're going to 
send you to a city that's cold and cool. Where Grunt's putting down his trail of rules. They got the latest in fashion and food and trends. Capital on the Gulf of Finland, friends. Every place you look, you find modern design. Modern buildings, modern clothes from their modern minds. Computerized taxis be cruising the street. Go add another bus to that dirtbag rap sheet. Yo, step. Bye. Featuring Jesse and his father. Give it up for him, folks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Copenhagen, Helsinki, or Gdansk? Remember the clues that we heard? Capital city on the Gulf of Finland and known for modern design. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Once you have that answer, lay it down right there in front of you. Justin is ready. So is Kate. So is Christian. All right, uh, Justin, we're going to start with you, I guess. You have 110 Acme Crime Bucks. Before you show us your answer, how much did you risk? I risked. 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. If you're right, you go up to 140. What'd you say, bud? I said Helsinki. Helsinki is right. Either way you hold it. Good job. Kate, you're also at 110. How much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. If you're right, you'll be tied with Justin. What did you say? I said Helsinki. Nice job, Kate. We got a tie game here. Christian, you're at 120. How much did you risk? I risked. 20 crime bucks? If you're right, we will have a three-way tie. What'd you say, Christian? I said Helsinki. I believe this with these guys. So here's what we're going to do, guys, to break the tie. Christian has 140, Kate has 140, Justin has 140. That's why we call it a tie. What's going to happen is I'm going to give you clues about a state. The first one to identify this state will then be the first person going to the next round. So hands on the buzzers. Listen carefully. Here are the clues. The land of enchantment. Truth or consequences. Roswell, Los Alamos, Taos, Albuquerque, Christian. What is New Mexico? Uh, New Mexico is right. Christian, you go on to the next round. <laughs> I'm your host, Alex Trebek, and uh, here's what we're going to do for the rest. Kate and Justin, same thing, different state. Here we go. The Palmetto State. Justin. South Carolina. South Carolina is right. Justin and Christian going on to the next round. Okay, you took it down to the wire, buddy. Nice job. We got some great stuff for you. Chief. You did such a good job today that I'm going to send you packing with our new Acme Travel Pack, that is. Outside, it's, well, it's a really handsome backpack. And inside, you'll find an atlas, the official Carmen T-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and the Acme Voice Identification Badge and Leave a Message Wallet. See? This is me. And when I press this button, I hear the message that I left for myself this morning. Don't forget to take that horse fly off the back of your head. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, I was going to tell her that. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, it's time for us to head on out now. Greg! Yes, Chief. Oh, Greg, be careful. You're knocking my head with your sleeve. I'm sorry about that, Chief. Okay, guys, time for us to go to Finland. You got my hat? You got the door? You got my hat? You don't have to. You don't want to. Okay, go. I got the chief. We're going. Here we go. Hey, chief, what's with all those sparks? Oh, you flood the corn popper into the warp engines. Hey, okay, Gumshoes, here we are in Helsinki. You know where to go, as do I, as does the chief. Important information coming your way, so listen up. Chief. Okay. There are 15 places here in Helsinki where you might find Top Grunge, The Warrant, or the Monaco Grand Prix. Here are just a few. Start your search at this open-air market in Helsinki. There's a secret message waiting for you here. It's right there, inside one of those cherries. Then it's on to Finlandia Hall, the city's home of classical concerts. It was designed by famed Finnish architect Alvar Alda. Next, hit the open-air museum in Surasari Park. Cultural relics, a 17th century church, it's a good place to learn about Finnish culture and boogie down in knickers. And finally, stop by this monument to Finland's most famous composer, Jean Sibelius. Now, that's what I call a serious metalhead. <whistles> that's your beefing gum shoes. Get out there, free the Grand Prix, and put that pup putting punk grunge in the clink. Thank you, Chief. Let's go, Gig. Thanks, guys. I'm still boogieing down to the knickers right now. Okay, uh, you know how this works. Loot, Warrant, and Crook. Christian, uh, you won the toss that we did since you guys had the same score at the end of the last round, so you go first. Uh, 
Finlandia Hall? Uh, from Finlandia Hall. Nothing there. We're on our way. Justin. Herring Festival? Herring Festival. Nope, nothing there. Christian? Uh, Karuna Church. Karuna Church. No. Justin? Um, Pori Jazz Festival? Uh, Pori Jazz Festival. Stolen Speedsters. Nice job. You got the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Um, Mini Finland? Uh, where is that one? So let me shake that one for me. Oh, there it is. Mini Finland. Thank you. Finland. <laughs> Mini Finland. Good. Turn it back around. Christian, go ahead. Uh, Pori Jazz Festival. Pori Jazz Festival. Erase Racers. Go ahead, Christian. Uh, Nordic Arts Center. Nordic Arts Center. Nothing there. We found the loot, though, once again. Justin, your turn. We'll turn these back around. Justin. Pori Jazz Festival. Pori Jazz Festival. Um, Zap Zoomers. Go ahead, uh, Justin. Children's Traffic Town. Children's Traffic Town. Top Grunge. Okay, buddy, you got the loot and you got grunge. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order, so be careful. Um, Mini Finland. Mini Finland. Finland. <laughs> we turn all three back around. Christian, go ahead. Pori Jazz Festival. Pori Jazz Festival. No, no, we, 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 we. Ah, Christian, go ahead. Mannerheim Museum. Uh, Mannerheim Museum. I think there, we turn back around. Justin, your turn. Pori Jazz Festival. Pori <laughs> Jazz Festival. Go Speed Racer. Go ahead, Justin. Olympic Stadium. Uh, the Olympic Stadium. The Warrant. Nice job, buddy. You got the loot and the warrant. Can you find Grunge once again? Children's Traffic Town. Is uh, Grunge a children's traffic town? Top Grunge! <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the look and smile of a winner. Stay right there, Justin. We'll talk to you just a little bit. First off, pal, nice job. Great case. Chief, what do we have for him? Hey, don't let those criminals get you down. Watch this. Okay, that's the button that turns off the TV. Now, this is the one that lets you write secret messages. And this is the one that zaps it through the air to another secret sender. What else does this baby do? It stores names and addresses, keeps your busy schedule organized, reads your daily horoscope. And if I press this button, yep, that's the one that shows the Acme travel pack. Upside down. Lemke! Well, it happens, you know. Okay, buddy, here is your portfolio flambe. You know what's inside, right? Piece of paper and a pen. Just open this up and turn it around here. <laughs> Set that up pretty well for you, didn't I? Inside, piece of paper and a pen. He's going to write down where he'd like to go if he goes, catch his car in San Diego and get that trip. Kurt, start the music. <laughs> Great, very great. Okay, we put this back up here. We get a phone call that sounds like this. Hold on a second. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Just, you need to hand it. Thank you. Hello? Yeah, he's right here. It's for you, buddy. Hello? <laughs> yeah, this jail cell is awful. No matter where I stand, I'm never more than 12 feet away from the soap. <laughs> and it's all Carmen's fault. Go get her in North America. <laughs> That's so gross. Okay, buddy, we're at the Carmen San Diego. Chief, what can you tell us? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Great Slave Lake, Canada. Hudson Bay. Ontario, Canada. Lake Superior. Ohio, USA. Tennessee, USA. Wyoming, USA. Nevada, USA. California, USA. Sonora, Mexico. Bahamas. Honduras. Costa Rica. Greg, let's go to the map. I feel good. <laughs> All right, man, you know what to do? Get a marker in your hand. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck to you. Cheer them on, you guys. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on to Kingston, Ontario. Kingston, Ontario. Yeah, come on. Reno, Nevada. Reno, Nevada. Do it, buddy. Reno, Nevada. Yeah. Sonora, Mexico. Sonora, Mexico. Look away. Sonora, Mexico. Come on, man. San Jose, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Come on, man. Come on, man.
<laughs> we didn't even know it happened, man. Listen, you decided you wanted to go someplace. If you call your karma San Diego, you and a parent are going to Cancun. Let's get back Yeah. How do you feel? Good. You should feel good, man. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? <laughs> Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filter from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Steal their soul in the One by one or two by two, we flush criminals down the loo. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always, gumshoes, Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you.